Hello everyone, welcome back to Linkle of the Wild. Once again, if you don't know what Linkle of the Wild is, it is Breath of the Wild with a few mods. That was easy enough. And, uh, basically lets us play as Linkle, if you can't tell. You probably can't, because this is not Linkle's hair. <laughs> um, for those that haven't seen, let me find... Oops, wrong hairstyle, this one. Let me remove it. There we go. So there's Linkle. Linkle of the Wild. Get a different hair. Get this hairstyle on so that we're not really Linkle anymore. We're more a, just a female Link, in my opinion. Um, and then let's uh, let's see here. If we blow that this way, this is the only one that can blow that way. So this one's got to move. Now all of those are facing that way. That probably reaches all the way over here, so this one doesn't need to be facing there anymore. Um, these two are currently facing the direction they need to be at the moment, but I don't know if that's where they need to go altogether. This one obviously turns around this way. If that's blowing that way, this doesn't need to be blowing this way. It can turn around this way, like so. Now that can blow that way. Um, hmm. This is a conundrum. How do I think that one can blow that way? This one can blow down. This one can turn this way. One can turn it that way. That still leaves one. This one. This one's not getting hit by any of the fans at all. How do I hit that one and all of the others? That is literally the only one not getting blown. Um, let's see. Hmm. Those are this one's only powering this one. It's blowing on this one as well. But does it need to blow on both of those? Hmm. How do I get this one running? That's the real question. Turn this one. Now these have stopped. Oh, but wait. Because these are... I'm blowing these two, but they're getting blown by those. So this, this one's literally not doing anything now. Yeah, there we go. Got them all. Neat! There are more treasure chests, though, that I have not yet gotten. Apparently. So let's go back. Um, there are two paths here. Isn't that where I was before where I got the first chest. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's where I got the first chest. It was here. Mm hmm. It's nothing here, right? I'm not seeing anything. So that's not it, I assume. There's nothing else in here but this one chest. There's nothing that way. There's no chests under me. Where do I need to go for this other chest? Not in here. It's never in the final room. Hmm. What the hey? Where is this final... Where are these other chests? Or one other chest or whatever. I'm looking for. It's gotta have something to do with this, right? It's like there isn't a chest there, right? That's just for this, isn't it? Looks like it. You would think I would know since I've done this before, but no. I swear I remember having to go over there though for some reason. But there's nothing over there that I can see. There isn't a chest or anything over here. This is all there is. So where is this other chest? <laughs> A Vakrat Shrine, Windmills. No, I have not collected everything here. Where is this other chest it wants me to find? Oh, that's just an arrow. So what's that thing flashing over there? It's just literally just an arrow. Hmm. What the hey? Let me get a view from up top. I didn't realize that the shrine was that short. <laughs> I definitely went too far up. Um, well, if anybody wondered what back here is like, it's literally just this. There's got to be another chest somewhere, right? Seems to indicate that there is, but where? That's why I went all the way up here. I'm like, it's got to be somewhere. Surely if I look from above, I'll be able to look down and see it, right? If anyone's wanted to know what this area is like. I literally don't see another chest anywhere in this map. Can I use Magnesis to see if I can find something? I'm using stasis because maybe it's just not metal. Maybe I'll click stasis and it'll be like, oh, it's right there, you know. I have no idea. Nope, those chests don't show up in stasis either. Hmm. I really have no idea where this other chest is. Alright then. 
I have no flippin' clue. Where this other chest is. Um, let's try this, this again. Aquaquat. Aquaquat Shrine. Where is the chest? Shrine, walk through treasure chest and puzzle solutions. How to solve the puzzle? Do 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 do. Um, the orange switch will rotate the platform right below you and the fan. There are two alcoves there. What? That's why I remember going that way. Thought I remember doing something like that. Like, I swear I remember having to go that way. Oh, I see them now, okay. So one here. And there's one over there. I need to stop the wind in order to reach either of them. Oh my god, that was obnoxious! Um... That might be a problem, actually. Move the wind down so that I could glide over, but I was realizing they got here that it was like that. See, I knew I remembered going through there for some reason. Well, you know what? We've been using this big Goron sword for a while. I feel like it's time to retire it. You know, I knew I remembered going over there for some reason. Okay, now we've got them all. God dang it! That was not easy. Those were not easy to find. Why did you have to put them somewhere so difficult to even see? Okay. It's gonna smile upon you. Well, that took half the episode just for finding the chests. Basically. <laughs> Muffa Saga. So I'm in a Discord server ran by Tella Siba, one of, one of my favorite artists. Um, and uh, Tella, one of the people in the Discord, um, has been posting these funny pictures. Hammer the shark as they go by in the Discord server. Been putting up these funny pictures of, uh, you know, baby Mothra, larva Mothra, um, called Mothra, you know, and uh, it's, they're, they're all just these really cute pictures of Mothra, like, trying to be the Mothra that we know, you know, big, tough, evil Mothra, basically, or good Mothra, depending on how you want to, how you view it, um, but like, big, tough Mothra, and it's just a larva, so it's, Funny. This one will cost you a thousand rupees. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. 
I think I have this much money. That's perfect for you. Hey. Cost you 600 rupees. Ooh. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, oh 550 rupees. God dang. That was all of my money. Holy crap. It's like you already have the whole Frito get up. That's great and all, but what am I supposed to offer you now? Oh, I heard this village somewhere they can dye your clothes and armor different colors. So you could always buy another Rito outfit and dye it another color. Color coordination is serious business. What can I do for you? Looking to sell. What are you looking to sell? Well, I have all these gems, you see. Because all the ore deposits have been giving me like a hundred gems. No, I'll give you 4,000 rupees for all that. Okay. I give you 3,640 rupees for all that. Okay. Alright, anything else? No. Almost 8,000 rupees is good, thanks. I think I had all that extra money. Jeez. Uh, oh, this isn't the end. This is where the kids sleep. That's right. Traveler, what do you usually cook? What do you usually cook for? Myself. I hope that wasn't too personal a question. When I cook dinner for my daughters, I sometimes wonder what the future holds for this village. For my family, my thoughts tend to grow a bit dark then, but they lighten as soon as I satisfy my hunger. So go ahead and use the pot. A full stomach will do you well. Actually, I do need to cook some more foods. I have a couple of hearty durians here. Go ahead and get that plus four hearty food. Hardy meat skewer and big hardy truffle. Bloop. Hardy meat and mushroom skewer and a regular truffle. Hardy meat and mushroom skewer. All right. I think that's all the hardy foods that we have, unfortunately. So, not much more we can do. Wild berries are a popular cooking ingredient, but they don't offer any extra properties. Uh, we do have seven star fragments, which is good. We are going to need some more. Um, any hardy fishies? Nah. Berries. Hmm. Not really, no. There's a stamina fish and sizzle fin, bolt fin, armored, mighty, stealth fin, armored, armored carp, and armored porgy. Interesting. That's why I got mighty porgy. Interesting. Okay, but no, there's nothing else. All right. Um, that's all of our hearty foods then. It looks like. Unless I want to make like mighty bananas or you know mighty foods or something like that. I don't really have much use for anything else at the moment. Honestly you just make hearty foods and you're pretty well good. <laughs> like they, the, the game has all kinds of recipes, but you use them so rarely in this game, it's unfortunate. Um, I do wish that there was more use to, like, not just making a hundred hearty foods. But aside from the occasional, like, electrical defense or something... Really isn't much more that you use food for. And it's sad. It really is. Like, I wish that there was something more that you could do with food, but there just isn't. Like, I wish that you could, like... Like, the problem with the food mechanic in this game is that, like... If you put two items that have different materials together, different stats... They cancel each other out. 
it would be great if you could put like a hardy mighty that way you can get that extra attack boost and still get the hardy but if you do a hardy and a mighty together it doesn't give you both it actually they cancel each other out so can i help you what's wrong never mind forget it oh okay Hmm, Dad? Hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll talk to me eventually. Hey, who's this owl-looking guy? Hmm. Oh, visitor. Welcome to... Uh, oh! Oh! That object on your hip could it be... Forgive me while my matters. I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then. Is that not a sheik of slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master of Ali. What are the few able to bore a divine beast, Vaughn Meadow? No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This girl must be a mere descendant and inheritor of the sheik of slate. Ah, oh, forgive me. Champion descendants, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Sure, I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there's something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine, Be Divine Beast Vaughn Meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the Moorhead, strong raider warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Mm. Tabba and Hoth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hoth was injured. Tama escaped unscathed by fearing our plans to face the metal alone. As the descendants of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tama. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow. Sure. Divine Beast Va Meadow. Alright, we're on our second Divine Beast quest. Oh. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. <coughs> to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where'd he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Drenox Pass at the base of the Hebron Mountains. It's a place where Vita warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run in Meadow. As that happens, he made his way to the Flight Range on foot this time. If you take off from Mavali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Mavali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Mavali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, here we go. Memory time. I like this guy, by the way. Mavali's great. この技を持ってすれば、厄災ガノンに対して有利に戦いを進められること間違いなしだよ。そして、一族でも最高と称えられる弓の使い手。つまり、この僕リーバルこそ、厄災討伐の要に相応しい戦士ってことさ。なのに
I like that the last line says, good luck sealing the darkness, but he, it's just him laughing. One day I need to take the sounds from each of the, like, cutscenes and throw them into some kind of translator and find out what's actually being said. Sendent! Sendent, are you alright? Yes, but my hair hasn't let it in yet. Uh, it seems to be a little on the green side right now. My apologies. I fear I have said too much. Is there anything you do not understand? If there's anything you do not understand, please not hesitate to ask. Well, I mean, I don't understand what's wrong with my hair, aside from the fact that it just isn't letting. Come on. Love my hair, please. Thank you. <laughs> it was not loading my hair. That was funny. All right. So, it is cold in the Hebra Mountains. So, let's equip the Snow Quill set, which I will note, I've never got, gotten this set in my original, like, plus set of playthroughs. My test run or this. Um, or my test run or my previous run. So this is my first time seeing this outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Look at that. And it's pink already. I love it. I mean, this outfit might look better in a little blue, maybe? Um, might look better with light, like a light blue than pink, but I freaking love it. I am Nana. <laughs> I look like an ice climber. Seriously, I look like one of the ice climbers. I freaking love this outfit. Whee! Here we go. Where am I trying to go? Over there. Why did they want me to jump from there then? It's over there that I need... It's actually over there I need to go. Well, oh, whatever. Yeah, it's all the way over there. Hang on, let me see if I can do a jump somewhere that'll actually get me in that direction. Because <laughs> that's, that, that's a long way away. They said to jump from there, but there's no way that you're going to jump and get over to there. Like, that's facing the complete opposite direction. Aquaquat Shrine. Now this is pointed more towards it. I think it's right there, actually. If I get up there, that would be even better. But let me... Let me see if there's a little anywhere higher up I can get to that'll still take me in that direction. I mean, this is probably the better jump point. So at least this way I'm pointed mostly in that direction. That's weird. They, they tell you to jump from there, but that's not going to get you in that direction. Maybe they told you to jump from there because it is the easiest way to get back down. Well, hello, Kilton. I've never seen you over here. I mean, I knew he was over here, but I've never been over here since I got Kilton. I've not seen him over here before. But we'll mark him on the map. You shall mark him on the map. Is that the one I used here in the Gerudo Desert? No, Charge Chest. Right, because he's a shop. There isn't a shop like Icon, but that is. I just used the Treasure Chest. Hi, Kelton. Bye, Kelton. Bang and Bone, only open at night. Indeed. It's f f f freezing here. It's even colder than the Gerudo Highlands. It 
it's a good thing I've got this outfit on. <sighs> it's cold here. We go ahead and take that knight's bow. Thup, thup. Thup, thup. Thup, thup. Yeah, you kind of have to just get used to seeing the Yiga and, you know, getting attacked by them. Because... There's really nothing that can be done about it. As annoying as that is. Ah! You killed me again! No, no, we have to do it right. You killed me! Good. <laughs> um, okay, so I do have the full set on, but this is not going to help because I only need two layers. And this is snow. This is why I went and made sure that I got both the snow boots and the sand boots. Because we're going to need the snow boots to get around. Am I taking a picture of this? Yeah, that's right. I have that whole section done. Give me them star fragments. That's the part that I really care about. I've got so much luminous stone now, it's ridiculous. What I need are the star fragments. Oh, yeah. uh, greetings, traveler. Excuse me, young traveler, but if I may be so bold, you look quite troubled. Perhaps a glimpse into what your future holds would comfort you to your spirit? That is, may I tell your fortune? I don't know, he's a Yiga, isn't he? Because <laughs> he's just named Traveler. <laughs> Yes, please. Ah, very good. Now let me see. I see red, a crimson, deep and rich. The most beautiful color I've ever seen. Oh, it's the color of your blood! For Master Koga! Yep. How about the color of your blood? Boy, he didn't last long. <laughs> Go ahead and take that demon carver though. 40 attack damage! Hex yeah! I'll get rid of this in that case. Yes, please! Hebra Trailhead Lodge. Nope, that's not what I thought it was. Execution Hut Notes by Selmy, the Duchess of Downhill. Whether you've come to Heber Mountain to shield surf the slopes, hunt treasure, or just take a walk, you must remember, this mountain will kill you. The accident rate on this mountain is too high to measure, and before anything else, you must dress appropriately for the weather here, not like you're heading to Hyrule Field. Despite the dangers, though, this snowy peak really is extremely beautiful. It's an ideal spot for seal s shield surfing. I want as many people as possible to enjoy shield surfing, so I'll leave behind this manual for survival on the mountain. I hope that it can help and people enjoy Hebron Mountain. I've left a few things behind on the mountain trails and at the base of the flags planted. If you're in trouble, spot a flag and head toward it. Hopefully those items will be of use to you. Someone else has added notes. Sell me, baby, I think I'm a better shield surfer. If I prove it, can we get married? This total loser will never win. I didn't know what love was until I saw Selmy sliding down the slopes. I can't believe you're tired. Where'd you go? Tell me thank you for leaving the food. I'll make good use of it here in the hut. I saw some kid north of Cold Snap Hollow. He looks like he was pretty great at shield surfing. Tell me thanks for the food that was left here. It, saved, it sure it seriously saved my life. Be sure to leave some for the next person. So if reading this, please take as much of the food as you need. What food? Oh, this food? Is this food? Meteor rod, that's not food. That's a meteor rod. Is this food? Icy meat. Yep, that's definitely food. What is this icy meat though? It looks cold. Icy meat gives you heat resistance. 
Yeah, that's not really helpful. Just saying. Oh well, what can you do, I guess? You know what? Let's sleep until morning. Actually, it literally was already morning. Um, Alright, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you have. Also, feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episode you might have missed. And I will see you guys next time. See you later. Boy, it feels like I just slept for like 24 hours. <laughs>